Today we are back with a FS19 mod review. We will be taking a look at a variety of mods. All of the mods are public and links can be found down below in the description of today's review. Up first we'll be taking a look at a 2019 Chevy 1500. This is the crew cab with a 5.5 foot bed. It has a starting price of $92,000 and it does have color change both for the truck but also the wheels and it does come with a lot of new colors. Now for the rims are color change, well if you want to match uh, the design there you do have a plow mount and a few different engine options. As we take a close look, very nice done. Really do like the front end of the new Silverados, and it's nice to have one here in the game. I do like the aftermarket wheels. We got a step on the side. Very interesting. The, uh, the back is a little bit wider, and it has uh, almost dual wheels. So that's a bit interesting there, but it does have dual exhaust here. This thing looks awesome. Look at that bed, and it does have some extra toolboxes in there. Once we hop here on the inside top speed is 62 miles per hour. Now when you do press X the tailgate does lower there. It does have bumper pull and gooseneck hitch which is cool and all of these lights do work. Whoa look at that front end now that looks awesome. And on the inside you guys can see working steering wheel, working mirrors and it actually has IC. So when you press this you could actually open up the door there and on this side. That is a pretty cool feature but taking a close look at the interior it's a ton of detail detail throughout the vehicle. We'll take it for a quick spin to see how it handles. I'm excited to be back here doing a mod review in FS19. Christmas was yesterday and because of that we did get some pretty epic mods and there will be another review coming out probably early next week uh, featuring the other half of the mods that were released on Christmas Day. Overall, the handling of this is great. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. Let me know how it is down below. Up next, we will be taking a look here at an OBS flatbed. In the store, can be found under the cars category. It has a starting price at twelve hundred dollars. It's a nineteen at ninety six, and it has three hundred horsepower. Now the wheels are color changeable. You do have chrome, and then the basic in-game colors. You do have the main colors, a few new ones as well, which is awesome. Really do like the one it's currently in, and we do have some other ones like red. You could get a toolbox in it, a few different engine options, and you can actually get uh, exhaust out of there. Now that is pretty cool, and a few different wheel options as well. You can get dualies or single rear wheels that are pretty wide. As we take a close look, you guys can see one sweet truck. I am excited to have this flatbed and definitely will be putting it to work. Bumper pull and gooseneck hitch. A ton of detail in the flatbed. Look at that. And this is one awesome wood texture. Now it looks like that ball hitch is right below the uh, deck as well so that won't interfere with pallets. It has a top speed of 75 miles per hour. Now it does have straps there on the bed. Everything works on the interior, working gauges, and a working steering wheel. Very nicely done. The uh, gauges actually light up as well, which is awesome. That's pretty cool. And so does that radio there that lights up a little, and all of those controls there. One pretty cool flatbed. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a very old Ford Bronco. And the store can be found under the cars category. Has a starting price of $30,000, 1966 Bronco Crawler that is pretty cool. A ton, a ton of options here on it. You could get the spare tire or the back and the spare tire will actually move there. You could get a winch up front if you would like in the bumper. You could get a rear hitch and that's pretty cool. Or a plow mount. You could get the uh, so many options on this LED or the old fashioned lights. A few different wheels as well few different engines and you could also get a few different suspensions rock crawler as well as we take a close look you guys can see very uh, cool cool vehicle definitely we'll be adding this to a few videos uh, coming up this thing looks awesome really do like that strap there as well that's pretty cool detail uh, that was added 
has a top speed of 75 miles per hour here and you guys can see this thing just looks awesome really do like it and on the first person view working you guys can actually see working shifter that's pretty cool a working pedals working mirrors and steering wheel and the gauges also work as well so a ton of effort has gone into this Big shout goes out to Expandable Modding for all the hard work in the community. The majority, if not all these mods today, were released by them. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at an old Chevy. It can be found under the cars category. It has a starting price of $31,000, and you guys can see, I believe it's this one, there's a few different versions here. So this one here is actually the next vehicle. This is a K3079, and then this here is a K30 with the different uh, single cap step side. So it's a little bit of a different bed, but very similar. They all have uh, different options as well for wheels, tow tune. Uh, different whoa that's pretty cool getting a lift like that new body rustic so many cool things really do like all the customizable features plow mount uh, side steps as we take a closer walk around in both trucks you guys can see they both look awesome I really do like the dually the uh, regular cab long bed dually but uh, the colors on this the old-fashioned colors those new ones look awesome it does have a working tailgate and a adjustable hitch on the first person view, it does have a working mirror and working steering wheel. Everything is nice about it. You guys can see a very nice high quality. The K30 is very similar, but with a different uh, body for the bed. This thing looks awesome. Really do like it quite a lot. Handling is pretty good, very similar to the other one. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a first-gen Dodge. There's two versions, a flatbed and a regular uh, bed, and in the store can be found under the cars category. You guys can see $15,000. It is color change. We'll here with some new colors. Really do like this. I'm excited uh, for it to be here in 19. You could actually get a dually bed if you would like. Get some dually wheels. Wow, that looks pretty cool. A few different engine options, and that's just about it. As we take a closer walk around, you guys can see big exhaust on the back, drop hitch, and a gooseneck. Wow, this thing's ready to do some uh, work. And on the interior, we do have a pretty detailed dash, and you guys can see that looks awesome. This does have working mirrors. This thing looks pretty cool. And like I've touched upon, there's two versions, a flatbed and that. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a Ford F650. This is the crew cab with the 8-foot bed. Has a starting price of $35,000, and it is lifted. Has 300 horsepower and a top speed of 74 miles per hour. It does have some new uh, colors there. You can actually see, guys, you get a, a, get a uh, stock bed. You could get a flat bed there. Different uh, steps on the side. A plow mount with a strobe up top. Now, that is a pretty cool feature. A few different wheels and also a few different engines. And let's see. The wheels are color changeable. Some new ones as well. And let's see there. So, that looks awesome. As we take a closer look, it is a pretty big truck. I do have the chrome uh, steps there that look awesome. This thing looks pretty cool. Now, these are pretty big. All the lights do work here on it. does have straps there in the bed. Now, on the interior, working mirrors, working steering wheel, and gauges. This is a very nicely done, well-built vehicle. All the ones today are awesome. Really do like this one quite a lot. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a flatbed truck. This is an international flatbed and can be found under the trucks category. It has a starting price of $50,000. It's the international 4900. has 460 horsepower and some new colors. The rims are color changeable as well. And you do have a design, uh, which is pretty neat. You do have stock lights or uh, LEDs, no logo or logo, flatbed, or the uh, grain attacher, uh, a few different engine options, and uh, you could get the uh, heavy wheel for the front axle. 
as we take a close walk around you guys and see pretty sweet truck i've been waiting for one of these to come into fs19 and it's awesome we'll be putting this to work a ton uh coming up has a top speed of 68 miles per hour all the lights do work here on it when you press x uh that cat will come off the uh fifth wheel hitch there which is a pretty neat feature really do like that on the interior working steering wheel and working mirrors somewhat detailed somewhat okay but i'm excited to have this here in the game it does have some extra lights in the back as well which is neat up next we will be taking a look here at a kenmore sleeper this can even be found under the trucks category has a starting price of $160,000. It's a Kenworth W990. Has 540 horsepower with a ton of options. You do have uh, fender colors if you would like to, mirror cap colors, uh, trim colors. You could get the standard bumper, upgraded bumper, uh, the bug shield. So many options here uh, uh, all the way around the vehicle. As we take a closer look, you guys can see, very nicely done. Really do like it lots, and I actually really do like this. You could store chains in it. Definitely will be using this out on the farm. Once we hop on the inside, top speed is 75 miles per hour. Working gauges, working steering wheel, and mirrors. This thing looks awesome. Just take a look at this inside. Well, probably one of the best new uh, semi-trucks I've seen here in the game. This thing looks awesome. Very, very cool truck. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a Kubota Skid Steer by Machine Modding. This can be found under the Skid Steer category. $59,000 here, 74 horsepower with a 9 mile per hour traveling speed. I am very excited to have this here in the game. Really am excited to have more Kubota equipment, and this thing looks awesome. It's a Kubota SVL95, and it looks to be a two-speed. Now, this does not come with any attachments. You could probably just use a Bobcat one, and it does lift all the way up there, which is nice. A very wide skid steer is probably one of the bigger uh, Kubota skid steer models, but that's awesome. It's nice to have this here in the game. Last up, we will be taking a look here at this low boy. This can be found under the low loader category. And it has a starting price of $47,000. It's 45 feet long, and it is color changeable. Now, you do also have the wheels color changeable as well, and the design if you would like. As we take a closer look, you guys can see pretty sweet trailer. Really do like it quite a lot. These axles will slide up and the whole bed will tilt. Uh, let's hop back in this Kenworth and take a quick look. So when you press X, the uh, axles there will slide all the way up, and this will actually uh, tilt. Now that is so, so cool. Uh, pretty exciting to have one of these here in the game. I hope you all enjoyed today's pretty big mod review. All these mods were released on Christmas Day. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for an next one, and subscribe for more.